morning, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. It is just before nine o'clock. Um, as of the time I'm filming this, we are about a week before I've got to head back to work in the fall. Um, ugh. If I look a little dazed and confused, um, I've been trying to get up at my work schedule hours to get my body back to running on a, you know, an earlier schedule. And today is like, I tried doing it for a couple of days, but today is really a better effort at it. Um, and I'm gonna try and do it for like this whole week. So when work starts up again, <clears throat> next week, I'm not quite as dazed and confused, hopefully. The goal was really just to get up and out of bed. The alarm can go and I'll be awake. Doesn't mean I'm gonna actually get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> the getting out of bed part is hard um, but we're trying so not for lack of effort um, I'm just heating up some soup I made it's pretty chilly today and I think you're really starting to feel that like you know west coast fall vibes um, the sun might peek out I can kind of see it in the distance but I'm still a little away from where I am right now Oh, I'm like, yeah, dazed and confused is probably the right word. Like I said, I'm just heating up some soup. I will show you in a little bit, but I thought I'd just come on and say hello and do more of a little intro to our vlog for this episode. Um, I actually did my proper skincare way in the morning so what happens when you're on vacation is that you kind of just like schlep around you know the house and you'll go and do your face and your proper skincare when you feel like it way later in the morning um what i have been really good at which i will say is doing my morning yoga i don't think that's still going to happen once work starts but most of the summer at least like you know after the move and things like that um i've been keeping up with my daily yoga which i feel pretty good about um but skincare has been kind of going downhill so i did my proper skincare today and it and i am actually wearing um a new tint of moisturizer like i said i hope i said in the last couple of vlogs i've been on this crazy like blinders kind of hunt for a tinted moisturizer that I can apply with my fingers. This one is pretty good. I still don't know if it's finger friendly. And I say this with a couple of reasons. Like I don't like applying things with my fingers. I just don't like getting my fingers yucky <laughs> and then having to wash them and you know right after you touch anything like gunky like foundation or concealer what concealer's not too bad because it's like a small area but especially foundation and stuff like that um i still think i probably would use a brush um so i haven't quite found that finger friendly uh tinted moisturizer but today i am wearing something new it is the nars what is it called radiant glow glow something i'll put the name somewhere in the video um their tinted moisturizer i know they came out with a matte one but i don't think that's really my jam so i went with the original the glow um the color came out looking a little deep but i think it blended out on my face okay i don't know if i'm actually gonna wear this you know every single morning like when work starts rolling around but i thought i'd put on a little something today and try it out I definitely think I like this consistency a bit better than the OG Laura Mercier Oil Free Tinted Moisturizer. Like I said, that one felt really dated in terms of the texture. But um, yeah, I'm gonna play around and see. This is first day wearing the NARS. All right, I'm gonna heat up some food and I'll talk to you about plans for probably this week um, in a second.
Alright, so what have we been up to recently and what are we getting up to this week? Well, um, the last couple of days I've been really thinking about my upcoming winter wardrobe. Actually, hang on guys. You're a little, you're a little lopsided. Whoop. Stay with me. Okay. Better? Yes. Um, thinking about my winter wardrobe and what I kind of need and what I don't need. It's funny, since staying at home, if you know, you're in the same boat, don't you notice that there are certain clothes you don't really wear? And then you begin wondering, do I really need those in my closet? Should I get rid of them? Because obviously they take up space in real estate and everything. And if you're not really going to wear them. But I always think, you know, things might get better and I might wear them again. For me, I have what I like to call indoor clothes or my weekend casual clothes and then I have work clothes. Some of them do kind of blend into each other, but I would say my at home clothes um, are slightly in a, you know, on the further other end of the spectrum than my going out clothes. And when I get home, um, I actually change my clothes. So I have like house clothes. House clothes are not pajamas. So we go, you know, out, you know, we go like work clothes slash outside clothes. Then we have indoor clothes. Then we have pajamas. Pajamas, as I've been trained, only are for bed. <laughs> um, but anyway, what do I really need for winter? Well, I think I just have to admit I need to invest in a proper warm but weatherproof on the outside winter or wet season coat. I don't need like a down situation. I do have one from Uniqlo, but it's not really all that necessary. We don't get that, that cold uh, for an extended period of time. Most of the time it's just what I call the wet season. And the wet season is a whole lot of months where you're not freezing but there's a perpetual chill in the air and it's most likely raining or at some point in the day it's going to rain so i last year i had bought a really nice uh, rain jacket from eddie bauer and i got it because they make them in petites which is great um they do petites standard um, tall and plus size in quite a few of their items, not everything, but the important ones like outerwear especially and that's important for me. So I bit the bullet and I bought a, for me, a fairly expensive um, removable, no, backtrack, weatherproof coat, long line coat that has a removable insulated inner layer so you can unbutton it take it off and yada 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 so that's coming to me i don't know how fast shipping will be they might be shipping from the states and that might be a, just taking some more time but it should get here before you know the chill really gets here so i'm kind of you know when you you got to spend money on things that are necessities but that aren't actually really fun that's how i feel about the coat i know it's a good investment i know when it's like pouring out there and i have to like get home from work and i'm grumpy and i'm tired i'll be so glad to be warm and dry but spending you know higher up on a coat doesn't really excite me anyways that's my little ramble but i am excited to have the coat when it finally comes um that'll be a long time coming i also wanted to get a new pair of waterproof uh, dressier boots that I can wear to work. Um, I'm not one to really wear like rain boots or snow boots and then change at work. I do have an office, I can do that, but it just seems fussy. I just prefer to wear waterproof footwear that looks nice and I can just like go. I almost repurchased a Blondo pair that I actually recommended to you guys. Like I wore my first pair to the ground, so I had to um, get rid of them and then I moved on to some other waterproof brands. But that pair of boots remained a favorite. So I was almost going to get it again because the Nordstrom anniversary sale had that pair of boots on discount. But, but, I decided to do like a quick browse through Poshmark. And someone was selling a very similar pair of boots for a much better price. So I'm thrilled to get that in. 
um, I think they said it was like they only wore you know a handful of times and then they decided they wanted something a little different in style so they never kept wearing them and they look pretty good by pictures um, so I, I got them and they're also blonde though they're just a different style more of a Chelsea boot and I think that would be great and save me a bit of money as well so those are like my two big ticket items that are coming they might come this week we'll see the boots will probably come this week they weren't shipped from very far um, I think they're just shipped from the islands so excited about that I'm thinking of actually doing a video or maybe a couple of videos on my waterproof shoes I don't know how many of you live in really wet places but for me here on the west coast waterproof footwear is really the majority of your footwear and um, over the last couple of years I've accumulated quite a few different options for waterproof footwear that don't necessarily look waterproof so you can still try and have a bit of an outfit you know what I mean anyways that that is kind of what's been going on um but what is going on the rest of the week i think it's just really trying to make best of whatever i have left of, of summer and then start migrating into a routine that i'll be able to keep up uh when work starts in about a week or so we are still pretty masked up um around here so i have been batch making some masks for myself especially for returning back to work i don't really know how i feel about functionality of having it and say like you're trying to read a story like it's carpet time it's hard to read and consistently talk with the mask on so that might be just like getting used to or it might just be like this is your life get over it and get on with it um, we'll have to see but I'm going to batch make a couple I think I showed you in a previous vlog they're like this blue fabric and I'm really into it but I'm also hoping to do a little bit of personal sewing I haven't been super into the groove like I said um, however there are some projects that are just lingering <laughs> and I really want to get them done maybe I'll even write a blog post this week we'll see um i don't think i have any beauty items coming oh yes i do i made a clarence order you guys i feel like at this age or this stage in my life clarence is really gelling with me right now <laughs> i was looking for a moisturizer and then um yeah i ended up popping on the clarence because they had something basic i liked and then i thought oh maybe this is the age to start using their multi-active like you know that's the range they promo all the time that's like their core cornerstone range of products the multi-active so i bought it we're gonna see how that goes um but i think right now i'm gonna go and film a couple more short videos um those of you have voted on my handmade caps award reel, which i'm so excited about and i've picked up the fabrics to pair with the patterns that you've helped me choose so i'm gonna film like little cutaways for that and maybe i will check in with you later on the day or the week okay i just finished filming um a couple of videos and ignored the lip situation i had a bright lip and just wiped it off but can we do like a skin check? I feel like my skin has gotten really shiny from that NARS Tinted Moisturizer. So I put it on maybe four hours ago. This is about four hours. And I'm noticing, especially in around here, it might not be so obvious on camera now that I'm looking at the screen, but if I'm looking at it in the mirror, definitely like a lot of shine here and here which is normal but it's really sinking into my pores right along here i haven't touched up i haven't done anything and not like i'm doing anything super strenuous like i was sweating a little bit because it started to end up being really hot as i was filming in my bedroom um yeah nars tint and moisturizer come on i don't know if this means i should have powdered right after or if yeah i don't know i don't know a little conflicted guys yeah uncertain about the scented moisturizer i have to wear a few more times if you own this one the uh, nars radiant skin tinted moisturizer whatever it's called let me know if you powder after it um, or how it wears on you throughout the day i've got combination skin 
um, but I do have large pores so anything that starts breaking down will start sinking into my pores and making them look really obvious all right I'm gonna go and get some lunch and I'll chat with you in a bit battery is dying so I'm gonna have to try and keep this quick um, I just came from the great outdoors you know at some point I'm gonna figure out this leveling situation maybe I need like a little I need like a little level to put on my tripod or something um, I want to show you a few things that um, I just picked up from the outside world actually no pause this I need to bring something to show you the thing that I got just Hang on. <laughs> okay, so um, a lot of places here are now um, asking for mandatory mask wearing in you know certain shops or, or whatnot. For example, uh, Walmart's doing it now. I think Superstore, um, public transit is doing it now. And anyways, I'm going back to work um, as well, and they're masking and just. There's a lot of masking, okay? And like I said, I've been making some masks, but um, the elastics I had been using, which are just these, what are they, like quarter inch, three eighths of an inch? Not good with these measurements, guys. Um, about a centimeter or so. These are just what I had in my stash. I'm sure I bought them for another purpose, but they're not terribly comfortable because they're quite like wide. I wanted something that wasn't so wide you could have gotten some nicer um, adjustable soft touch elastic things from like aliexpress or something but that would have taken ages to ship here so i decided against that and just went down for a little visit to my local walmart and see if they had anything because in passing previously i noticed they did have a small sewing section the ones we have here, I'm a little sweaty, the ones we have here um, in Vancouver in the Lower Mainland area are not, like they don't carry fabric. I know the ones in the States do or they used to, um, but they do have a small craft in, crafting section. So if you are like in dire need of some thread or like a patch to fix something or some hem tape, um, scissors and elastic, they do have that. So I went to Walmart to try and locate some different types of elastics and I found these two and I think they could be pretty good the first one here is called just round elastic cord so they look like this they are kind of the stuff that you see in a lot of packaging um, if you buy something or like if you buy shoes somewhere and they tie the shoes together with elastic, it's generally this type of elastic. So this is quite um, round and should be comfortable around the ears. I'm gonna try these. I also picked up some very narrow uh, flat braided elastic. And these are three millimeters braided elastic. Come on. Oh, there we go. So in comparison to what I had on my mask before like it's not good to show you so this is what i had on my mask before <laughs> nope let's try this again actually i'm just gonna open this i'm gonna keep it anyways okay this is the elastic i've been using on my mask this is the thinner elastic i just bought at walmart so so in comparison, I think the thinner one will be more comfortable um, and still offers decent stretch. Like you don't need it tight, tight behind your ears. You just want, you know, something with good comfort. And both of these are pretty long, five yards. And I'm pretty sure the black one is five yards as well. So I'm going to try out both and just see which one is better. Like this is also um, thin and stretchy. So anyways that is what i went for but of course 
picked up some other stuff too. Um, I was cleaning my sneakers the other day, which you saw in the hopefully the previous clip, and so funny. My cats I wear all the time, the one with the perforations for summer. I clean those because we are getting into the wet season and with the perforations, there's no point in wearing those. Um, I do have another pair of another sneakers coming. Very excited. A lot of posh, mar posh marking happening recently, but I'll tell you about that later. Um, the cats I had with the perforations, the edging is actually done in cotton twill and the tongue is actually cotton twill those pieces are not leather so it's a leather and cotton twill mix and the white cotton twill of course stains so i picked up some tied to go pens to see if they will help um clean up those areas of the sneaker instead of me having to like go with a toothbrush and like wash it by you know actually soap and water and scrubbing it fingers crossed this works well because it's just those parts that didn't clean up too good. Then I, on somebody's recommendation, I can't remember which video it was and I tried going back to look for the video. See, this is what I should do. I should actually write down your recommendations in like a little notepad note or something when you bring them up because I keep thinking I'm gonna be able to go back and look for the recommendation and I, I can't find it, I don't remember. <laughs> Somebody recommended an SC nail polish when I was talking about wanting something like that sheer full French look and For the life of me. I can't remember if they had mentioned SC Mademoiselle or SC ballet slippers like I know those two are are both very popular for that kind of nude slightly sheer look I, I Couldn't remember and I didn't want to get both so I just you know Picked one. I looked at swatches online um, and ended up with SC Ballet Slipper. So whoever made that recommendation, if you are watching this, I, I don't know if this is the one that you had recommended, but this is the one I got. And I made sure that it was the one with the wide brush because depending on what stock um, places had, some places don't have the, the wide brush. The wide brush is not new anymore, but yeah. Some locations in the stores have much older stock of things or they're still trying to sell through their old stock um, by the looks of it anyways. And they still have the really skinny brush, which I hate. Um, wide brushes all the way. I actually went through my entire nail polish collection and got rid of all the skinny brushes and the brushes I can't stand except if it's a particular color that I just love so much and I know I can't get anymore everybody else I can't do it I'm moving on like wide brushes all the way okay so fingers crossed ballet slippers was the one they recommended um it also could have been mademoiselle I don't know I think one leans a bit more pink and one is a bit more white I think all right then because I was looking at slippers because these ones from Skechers that I wear around the house are getting kind of worn. I might try to do a little patching up. I'll see. But I did want to swing by and see if they had any slipper options. And uh, couldn't resist these guys. Hello. Bunny slippers. I know this is so kitsch and it's so silly. But I could not resist bunny slippers <laughs> so got myself some bunny slippers i do like these are the uh, the rubber bottoms i'm sure these will not offer as much support as the sketchers that i'm wearing inside around the house but they're bunny slippers okay last thing before hopefully my battery dies out um i picked up the it cosmetics bye bye pores poreless finish airbrushing powder why are these names so long um, this is a finishing powder, I believe is how it's marketed. My, my focusing square keeps jumping around. Hopefully you could see that bit. And I was talking to a friend of mine. We we're talking about like, you know, makeup being long lasting and me being fussy, but also like I can't be bothered. <laughs> she swears by this. And in every conversation we've ever had about products staying on your face, so I got it. This is actually one of the popular powders I actually haven't tried. 
um, I have loads of the other ones. I'm not real big into powders because it tends to pick up on the flakies on my face. I feel like I'm always flaky regardless of how often I exfoliate. Um, but this stuff is expensive. It's 6.8 grams at 40 buckaroos Canadian. Like, come on, guys. So, I actually can't open this. Um, they had the illumination version, which I was curious about. But it seemed like the real difference between that one and like the original is that that one had mica so it does have tiny specks of shimmer which is not super noticeable but i did manage to kind of like figure out the difference and decided i didn't want sparkles on my face um so yes they also had a press version which is more product for the same price but i was so afraid that if i got the press and it didn't work out it would be because i got the press and not the loose and she swore by the loose we got the loose. <laughs> so here it is, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. If you have this, if you have the press versus the loose versus the illuminating, like if you are a huge fan of the It powders, let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer one over the other? Is there a better way to wear it? What am I doing wrong? Um, stuff just doesn't stay on my face and I, I really don't like putting a lot of layers on my face. I know the way to long lasting is like prep and primer and you know long lasting foundation probably a matte foundation and then setting and uh, then powder and then finishing powder and then setting spray it's just too many steps guys too many steps and too many layers on my face it makes me feel like i'm really gonna break out so quick you know i just yeah but this i will give a try um, and I will let you know if you're curious how it worked out. I do own, like I said, a lot of the other popular powders, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I own the Makeup Forever HD. I own the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Um, I own... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think those are like the big ones. I'm not a big powder person. I don't like getting powders. Um, but if you have a recommendation for something to help your foundation last a little longer, I'm up for that. Um, as long as it's not too many steps and doesn't break me out is all I'm asking. Alright, I'm going to clean all this up, um, untangle this now tangled mess, and uh, I'll check in with you a little bit. I think the rest of the day I'm just going to sew on my mask and stuff like that. Um, work is kind of on hold in the sense I don't actually need to go in ahead of school reopening to organize and do stuff because we don't know a lot of details yet so i'm just gonna actually go in when we're like open open um so this week i can still just kind of chill out do a lot of yoga and like <laughs> prepare myself um all right i'll chat with you in a bit Welcome to another day in this vlog. Um, what time is it? I think it's almost noon now. I've had kind of a, a slow start to the morning, but you know, I've done my all my usual things, and I think today is going to be a lot of just housekeeping things and um, maintenance things to do. I want to finish hopefully a couple of the masks that I've been sewing. When you batch sew things, I realize, you know, you're sewing like the same part of each step just repeatedly. And then I get tired of sewing, you know, mask sewing isn't really all that exciting. Um, so it's been taking me a while to get to the finish line, but I think today we're finally at the steps that I can start putting the elastics in and we're, we're like good to go, which is great. A couple of the masks, I haven't shown you yet, but a couple of the masks, I've taken the, uh, the nose piece off of some uh, of the disposable ones. They're just like um, a soft plastic 
broad and I've put them into the ones I've made so not all of mine will have the nose piece but some of them do and some of them don't and that's totally fine with me um what else oh I would like to list a couple of things on Poshmark okay backtrack follow me here don't you feel like since we've been home more often if not forbidden from going outside depending on where you live that you've gotten a new perspective on your wardrobe and the things that you wear the things that you like to wear that you wear most often now i'm not saying to get rid of all of your fancy happy going outside clothes but since i haven't been wearing my fancy happy going outside clothes i'm like heck i'm staying at home who's gonna care what i wear i can wear this like five days out of the week and it's fine you know that's how i've been feeling so a lot of the stuff i put out for summer i haven't actually worn it's hard to want to feel cute when you're heading to the grocery store to be honest i just want to be practical and stay clean and safe and clean <laughs> right um so anyways for me at least it's given me a bit more perspective on the things that i probably won't wear for quite some time and I don't feel too precious or attached to them about them so I think I'm going to list a couple more things on Poshmark and then also take a few things off that haven't really sold for me Poshmark isn't really like you know to make some profits like okay some people buy low sell high do stuff like that for me it's like things I'm getting rid of anyways um, and if someone can give it a good home and then save, you know, some buckaroos in the process and get something that they really like or want, that's great by me and I do the same thing. I have been doing a bit of Poshmark shopping myself and it's allowed me to save, to still get the things that I've been eyeing and with good quality hopefully that um, I don't have to pay full price for and also give that item that someone else is decluttering a new home, right? So I think it works well for everybody. But the profits that I do make, and it's few and far between for Poshmark things, I've been adding it to my travel fund. Um, I initially wanted to take a spring break solo trip. Of course, that did not happen, but it doesn't mean we can't keep uh putting money into the fund so i think that will work out well anyway so things that aren't selling i'm just gonna take them off you know wrap them up nicely and put it in the donations bag for donating later on so i think that's kind of like the housekeeping things i need to iron some of my stuff um that's just gone out of the wash and it's like wrinkly and whatnot oh my face my face um i brought some products here to show you what's on my face and just talk quickly about that it powder i showed you in the last clip i hope it was the last clip so on my face right now i have got the nars pure radiant <laughs> tinted moisturizer in the color finland this is the lightest color that they do and i will say this is pretty dark for their lightest color I think it's fine of a match for me especially for the summertime and this is not like full coverage or anything so it does sheer out but if you're like pale like pale pale uh, I don't think this is going to cut it anyways I wonder if they're going to um, make any updates to this line especially since they released the new matte full coverage foundation yeah anyways I've got this then I put on um, some of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. So like I mentioned, friend of mine swears by this for setting their face, not necessarily for blurring texture. So with this on, I don't love it, I don't hate it. And again, this is the first day I'm wearing it. I'm just kind of noticing. Actually, can I just zoom you in this way? Oh my gosh, I can. Didn't think about that. Okay, we're close up now. Um, I just feel like that because I've got pores like this is my pore area right and usually sometimes I'm a little flaky here a little flaky here you know a forehead's usually pretty smooth and pretty good I just find and I'm looking into the screen because or else I can't see what I'm pointing to I feel like it does emphasize my pore texture a little bit here and just make me look a little dry and does pick up on the flakies around my nose 
yeah i don't know i'm not sure i'm in love with it but i have to wear longer throughout the day and see side note i've been noticing also some dehydration lines around here i don't want to call it crow's feet or wrinkles or anything like i don't think we're that severe yet yet but i wonder if this is time to start doing some anti-aging or something i don't know that seems severe you know i don't know anyways powder is what i have on my face um doesn't feel dry but definitely picked up on some flakies like okay i guess what i'm trying to say is i don't know if this is better than any of the other powders i own i don't know anyway i also have on some cheek it is the nude sticks nudies bloom all over dewy color in the shade tiger lily queen and i put this on because selena gomez launched her rare beauty line this week it's been a very exciting sephora launch week let me tell you um and the one product i was just like super into like i zoned into it right away is the cheek color it's like a liquid cheek color and they have dewy and matte versions i think that's brilliant in terms of like catering to both sides of the spectrum um none of the products seem groundbreaking but they all seem just practical and pretty you know practical and pretty isn't that just what we want like as your average normal day-to-day -day person probably but i'm holding off on that because i did break down and buy the new natasha natasha denona um the bigger glam palette i forget the name off the top of my head right now the one that launched this week as of when i'm filming this in um beginning of september <sighs> okay so i think the price is right i think the colors are gorge i think it's super on trend and i think it's practical um it's, some people are kind of sick of all the nude palettes coming out and while i've bookmarked loads of her other palettes this is the one so when i saw the sneak peek and she put it up on her instagram i'm like this is it this is the one um i like i said i bookmarked loads of her palettes i haven't actually bought one until i saw this one and i felt i felt really good about it i think the the element that's throwing a lot of people off with the the new palette is that instead of giving all the colors names or numbers she's give given placement instructions for each color so it'll say stuff like transition all over lid outer corner in the crease like stuff like that and some people are just like up the wall about it i kind of like the idea um i don't really care what the colors are called but it's nice to get a new perspective on where to put the different shadows because some of the colors the placement directions are different than where i would usually put them you know like we all get stuck in a rut of how we like to do our makeup and our the ways that like we do the placement and stuff but it's nice that she gives you some new ideas with that now could this have been put into like a pamphlet or something that came with the palette sure but i'm not mad about that the pans have directions instead of color names some people are really like up about it but anyways i ordered it i'm so excited i hope it comes soon and um yeah i think that's that's gonna be our day today just getting some housework done um I might check in with you later on the day. I don't think I'm cooking anything exciting today. I made pizza last night. Oh, insert picture. I made pizza last night and um, turned out fabulous. Did take three different kinds of flour to make the dough, but it's so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna get going and um, I'll catch up with you later.